have some positive to say in this conversation. Well, you know what I think, Mr. 250? I think he's just another one of the tri-state radio community that you won't lock it up with. I think if that man try to talk to you and you talk back and forth, you're going to start cursing him out because he's making you see the light. I'm going to get back quiet and try to figure this out. That gentleman out there that was uh, cursing me out, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but that junkie 127 that was taking you clean out, so... You either pump it up or uh, just stay on the side and, and behave yourself, because I really can't hear you when the crackhead keyed up. No, 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 no. I'm going to get back quiet. I'm going to stay on the side, because I'm going out back. That gentleman can do all the talking he wants. Don't use me as an excuse to run. I'm out the building. I'll be back. He's the sound king. <laughs> Listen to his audio. He calls himself the sound king. You got to love it, man. It's funny. He sounds like he's holding his nose. And he's in a wind tunnel. <laughs> Richard, you really got to change that mic, man. You sound horrible. Anybody have anything positive to say? Or is it just going to be ne negative rhetoric? Anything positive? Key up and uh, state your opinion. I'm, uh, I'm more than welcome. You're more than welcome to uh, give your opinion. If it's not positive, then, uh, you know, stay on the side and just... Uh, be another envious, uh... Come on, guys, work him. He's opening the door for y'all. Work him. You know, work for yours, man. You work hard for yours, you get rewarded. But don't sit back and start cursing and hating, especially if you never met me. You know, but it's all good, man. Ask him if he ever met Richie and why he talks so much about him after he answered that. person has and they hate that person. So don't hate another person. Don't envy. But that is one of the deadly sins, man. Envy, very bad. Not good. Practice what you preach. Exactly. So you're sitting there hating on me, yet you don't know me. So remember that. Look in the mirror, my friend. And you have a good day. Because I might have my cup of job. Remember, remember the word. Ask him if he knows Richie. In front of a mirror and look at yourself. And then you come back to the enforcer. Do you know Richie? That usually shuts people up when I say that. Do you know Richie, Mr. 250? Oh yeah, I know Richie very well. So does a lot of people out there. And they all know just by his own video gates, just by his own admission, that he's a deranged junkie and homosexual pedophile, yes. By his own admission, by Richie's own video gates, he crucifies himself. I don't have to say anything anymore. Just look at Richie127. Go to his webpage, go to his YouTube page, MS, N NYC, New York City, uh, all abbreviated, NYC MS-19, and you see how he video gates underage young girls, young teenagers, and you tell me that's the type of person you want to defend, and if it is, God help you, all right, because if you defend a pedophile, you're just as bad as him, I hate to say. You may disagree with things I may or may not say, but you know what? I'm no pedophile, man. I'm no junkie. As a matter of fact, I get random drug tests on a regular, so there's not one speck of drugs in my body. I don't even smoke cigarettes. But you got a guy like 127 who's very jealous of the enforcer because I have the number one five-star rated YouTube page out there. And he's very, very irate. But I pray for the cat, man, because I understand the words of the doctor, Dr. Love, told him he's born, he's a born loser. No, he was a bum, and he was born to be a bum. Not my words, those are the words of the great Dr. Love, all right? He's a bum and born to be a bum. Not my words. I'm just uh, quoting what the doctor said. So, who knows better than the doctor? You know what I'm saying? But it's all good, man. Because I know you're another hater out there, and you have no facts on me. But I got plenty on uh, Mr. 127 because he puts it out there. But anyway, if you're into uh, young children, then you're then you'll like 127 because he's a pedophile. If you're if you're into heavy drugs, crack, K2, then you'll like Mr. 127 because uh, he's a junkie. If you're a liar and a storyteller and you're delusional. 
And if you believe you're Superman one day, the next man you're uh, Frank White, the next man you're uh, Joe Pistone, uh, the next uh, the next day you're uh, the King of New York. You, know? you see, if, if, if y'all know how to ask the questions, y'all would have to put up with this. But <laughs> right now he thinks he's talking to somebody else but me. It's all there, brother. Anyway, let me put it on the side. I gotta get my job before it gets cold. They call me the Enforcer 250. You can check me out on my YouTube page. Just type in Enforcer Space 250. Sit back, have some popcorn. But I'll never, I'll never, never steer you in the wrong direction, man. So that's why my page is five star. That's why they love the Enforcer. Anyway, let me do what I gotta do, man. They call me a Enforcer, provider of truth and justice the American way. Then I'm back out. Well, if you get all that from this video channel, it only makes me want to ask there, uh, how long you and Richie been hanging out? Uh, I guess him and Richie get high together a whole lot. I want to know what happened between him and Richie that ended their friendship, because you know these two used to hang out together. They know one another real good. He wasn't gonna lock it up with any of y'all, man. He can't. You, you see what happened when you asked him a question. He went on a five-minute story, tried to cover all the bases, and all you could say is he gets all this from watching Richie's video channel, but yet he sounds like him and Richie hang out and do all them drugs together, right? You're hole in the wall, king of New York. You gotta work hard, man. You work hard, you, you know, you get what you deserve. Especially when you start lots of lies, lots of rumors, and you got the tri-state radio community up your ass. Oh, they ain't got to pray for me, dude. They hear how much you love me. You do more praying and envying than anyone else out here, dude. They already know you got me well covered. You might as well call me dickhead. Well, you know, Mr. Enforcer, it's simply amazing that after I got your buddy Birdman to fuck up on capital crime on video game, he became a born-again Christian. I said when I was done, he would be Jehovah's Witness. Now I got you talking like, uh, ah, uh, like my, my older brother touched you on the head this morning. Yeah, I envy, I gotta say, Mr. Enforcer, I envy your persistence. That's the only area my envy goes to you. I envy your persistence. You're right. If you work hard, good things come to you. You understand? If you keep working hard, you know, you're going to get what you deserve. I mean, you know, if, if you're getting mad at the radio public or telling them to, you know, share their opinion or sit back quiet, stay in their lane, I mean, you can't get mad at the other radio operators because they're airwave too, you know what I mean? I mean, you know, if they feel you're a liar, a scumbag, and they feel Richie proved that and beyond on Videogate that forced you to start a channel that you, in every one of your morning show videos, you openly smoke crack and K2. But yet you say you don't smoke anything. Now when they watch that and listen to these videos, all they could do is sit with their feet up and go, you know what? Richie is the ace boom coup. Mr. Enforcer, I envy your persistence. But I just want you to know, everybody out here listening to your voice definitely knows what you're about. And me, man, I don't even got a key up to point that out. The king of New York, the most talked about, most envied and feared man, schooled him, first I beat him down, scared him straight, ran him into a nervous breakdown, educated him, and the more you listen to my videos, the more he talks like me. And for us, I don't envy anything about you, dude. You don't impress me, you don't scare me. I know you've been begging me to meet you the last couple of days or weeks, you know, I find it amazing that everybody in New York's got to forget about your TikTok and your tap tap on my shoulder. I, you know, I, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really detrimentally crazy that I have to come to you to get that. But anyway, Mr. Enforcer, I'm going to get back quiet and I'm going to let New York City do what they want to do, if they want to do it. 
voice their opinion because I think it's hilarious how you answer them. The King of New York is clear. Answer your text, Richard. They're texting you. I know that your buddies, that so your supporters, instead of confronting the issues that you have, they rather just put a battery on your back and just patronize you. That's not good. And I blame them as part of the reason you do what you do out here, Richard. But it's all good. Because uh, when you condone, when you condone a pedophile, you know what? You're just as bad as that person, Richard. But it's all good. I pray for you, brother. I'm sorry, 250. It's your text messages and your Mary's texting yours in the video game will clearly show. And Mr. 250, I realize you're a homosexual and been dealing with men for years where you do not know a 24-year-old woman or a 19-year-old woman when you see one. Try freezing the screen on different uh, parts of it. You might come to the same assessment the rest of the tri-state area did. The king got down. If there's any doubt after that, you could show up on 49th Street between Lenox and Lendon and say, where's the high step of clubhouse? And then show them that video and say, where's these two girls? The king of New York is clear. You know, Richard, you know the sad part? There's a lot of cats. Guys, the sad part is I'm not going to lock it up with him. I know he really wants me to, but I'd rather see him go on the side and do those things he's got to do. And I'd rather hear his last words for the last hour of video gates. The king of New York is clear. I did was capture a couple of people on stilts and I'm all this. He gets all this from the video. Pray for you, brother. Well, you know, I'm so glad you can assess their age just from watching the video. Have a good day. I'm, I'm out of here, guys. Anybody looking for me? The same place where I shot that video. Utica, between Clarkson and Lennox. McClure. I can clearly say this is the facts while Richie is a thousand feet away and everything sounds high pitched. But when I freeze that screen on a lot of certain parts, I see just how young women and no teens they are. The king, but hold on. And this enforcer swears this is the fact because he watched this video. This is what is actually your downfall. So you can't see the difference of an underage teenager and a grown woman. And then you have the nerve to comment, oh, she has a nice buttocks. I'm going to use that word. He, that's not the word he used, but uh, I'm, that's the word I'm going to use. Oh, well, he's actually looking at them in a sinful way and lusting for young underage teenagers. Richard, Lord have mercy, Richard. The serpent got you, Richard. Shame on you. So everyone out there that thinks I'm this and that, just look at Richie's videos. You don't see me video gating on the age teenagers, all right? You don't hear me bragging about I'm the hardest smoker, right? You know why? Because I don't do those things, all right? I don't do those things. You know I'll tell you what. Anybody who watches any and all of his morning shows and catches this man smoking like a fucking choo-choo train stack, you tell me this man does not smoke anything. 
Now, we all know I smoke a little bud, but that's about it. But listen to his morning show gates. Tell me what you think he's smoking and inhaling through half that and choking on. With no lung capacity for when left because his lungs are 85% filled. The king got down. Uh, he's a, a freak, a pedophile, and an extreme, extreme drug user. And he's highly delusional. Now, I don't know if that guy that was... Uh, cr- now, you know him and Richie been hanging out doing all these hardcore drugs for years, right? After you watch his gates, you're going to say to yourself, you know what, Enforcer's is right, man. I shouldn't have said those things about him. Because he's just saying what he sees. And it's all clearly... It's all clearly viewable on... Uh, NYC, MS-19, the junkie, the pedophile, well, Richie, 127, man. I pray for you, brother. I don't hate you, nor do I want anything bad to happen to you, man, because you're doing it to yourself. What you're doing, your lifestyle, your beliefs, is your downfall. So the devil already got a grip on you, brother. The, saint, the serpent got you, but you can break free if you choose to. But remember... Like a thief in the night. You don't know when it's your time, Richard, so do the right thing now before it's too late. The enforcer said that. 250 on the lower deck. Let me finish my job and I gotta head, head out of here. Only the man with the monster in him gotta worry about that. Everyone out there, all my fans and haters, I love you all, man. Because you know what? Because you don't question me or give me any feedback. If y'all started, he wouldn't key up. You hear what it does to him. It thrives in berserk. <laughs> Remember the good one. Look at that. He cackling to himself, guys. Sunday morning. They call me 250 on the lower deck, and I just got down. Same to you, brother. Same to you. You have a good one. And I enjoy this beautiful day that we're having, whether it's overcast, snow, rain. Enjoy every day that you have because today may be your last. Remember those words. Enforce the 250 and I'm back out. He's funny. Anybody interested in qu- queer encounters, meet me in the heart of Greenwich Village. And uh, I'll, be, I'll gladly uh, talk to you. Um, I am inviting Richie. If he wants to show up and have a good conversation, we could do that also. But I think Richie is too irate to meet with the enforcer. He's uh, very embarrassed right now. He's sitting, sitting back and uh, grinding his teeth. I like, damn it, man. How does he know all of this about me? I well, don't see your own gates, Richard. But I, I still pray for you, dog. And I will gladly meet up with you anytime. We can talk or do whatever you want to do, Richard. But uh, no negative, Richard. I'm not into homo acts or none of that. And uh, I definitely don't... Conscience working on him, boys. I don't do those... Absolutely do not do those things, Richard. But you can come back, uh, come down to West 4th Street Park if you want. Yeah. Hey, he don't like it. And you guys don't know how to question him or work him when he opens the door for y'all. If you don't want to show up, Richard, I'll be there. So I'll give you opportunity to uh, state your case. Uh, you can bring a cup if you want. Whatever you want, Richard, I'll be there. And, you know, he'll probably be there. Birdman from Brooklyn, he'll probably be there. Because I'm sure he's copying the mail. And uh, he's really, uh, <laughs> he really got a good laugh at that video you put out with the, uh, Grade. <laughs> anyway, I'll be on the side, man. Uh, I'm not gonna put, no, I'm not gonna do what you usually do, try to put people in front of you. But Richard, it's all good, brother. It's all good. I'll be at Washington Square Park today. If you want to come by, we can uh, have a good conversation, Richard.
Richard. I don't know, it sounds like he's trying to make a queer date with Richie. It sounds like he wants to give Richie an opportunity. The only opportunity Richie wants is that tap tap on the shoulder that he's been promising to deliver for how long now? That's the golden opportunity. The only opportunity that exists in Richie's world. The king of New York got down. Could be a mean circuit board, all the marks I did. I take it if he's talking radio work public, now he's directly talking to me. He's so desperately trying to impress me because I don't talk to him anymore. How does Banford Radio do such a beautiful job where I'm able to take out a base station that's running a kilowatt, a thousand watts, I guess a five watt start of you? He crying and pleading again, Lord have mercy, look what I did to him. Just look at him, just check it out. think they envy you, man. I think when anybody goes to your F4 or 250 morning shows, it's very clear, over clear for them to understand that you're smoking crack or something in your video games profusely. You know, and I think what they want to do is they want to try to talk to you, but every time they try to talk to you, you know, before you answer their question, you run off on like a seven to ten minute spiel, and in the end you wind up bragging, talking about them, talking to Richie rather than them. The king of New York is clear. New York City, if I said anything wrong just now, kindly let me know. I guess I'm not invited no more. I don't know. I, I think the only opportunity that exists in my world is the one where I get that tap tap he's been crying to all about for the last two and a half years. To me, that's the only opportunity I wake up for daily. That's the only opportunity that means something to me. It's the only opportunity I will advance and try to take. The one that goes tap tap. And I'm not going to go find it. I'm not going to walk into the tap tap. That's not how it's been laid out. That's how it's been copped out. The king of New York is clear. Boy, he got mighty silent, huh, New York City? Tri-state area? Skip land. 